Hi there and welcome to my channel. So a while back I did a couple of purchases from nailartuk.co.uk and in this video I'm going to show and swatch what I bought. So I bought Bundle Monsters stamping plate and I hope I say this correctly, Kimwa Emoji BMXL325 and two of the Mitty Chrome pigments. So I'll start with the Bundle Monster BMXL325 and it's this nail art inspired plate. When I saw this I thought as a nail art enthusiastic person I've just got to have this in my collection plus it is super cute. There are 19 images on this plate and they really do range in size from the small little bottles to the large image on the right hand side of which I have actually taken three different swatches. Now this plate screams decals to me. Now I haven't done that, I wanted to, but I decided to put them over my neon pop sticks instead and they just look amazing. And for the swatches, I've just used my Born Pretty Black Stamping Polish and I've switched between my Starry Sky Stamper for the large images and my Clear Stamper for the smaller ones. Swatching this plate was really easy. Everything picked up and transferred well. I don't know why I don't have more Bundle Monster plates because they are just so gorgeous and so easy to use. And for this Manny, I've just used a few different images. I didn't plan this Manny like I would do normally. I was like, well, this one can go here and this one can go here. And the final result, I just love. Next time will be decals though. I've, I've just got to, it would be a shame not to. So on to some live swatching and I'll just be using my XL Fabio Nails Stamper and Scraper along with my Born Pretty Black Stamping Polish and I'll just be placing them on my lint roller and I'm going to be taking three different swatches. I really like this large image, there's just so much in there. I think I see something new every time I look at this, it's just an amazing image and amazing big up. And these two little bottles are so cute together and would really come to life with colour. I think they would look amazing. And as you can see, I'm having no problems with any of these images. They're all coming out really clear. And this image is just that. It's clear and it looks great. Moving on to the Mitty Chromes. And these are how they are packed. And they come with two of these really large applicators, which I just love. It really gets a big thumbs up from me. Just that bit. So I got the blue bullet and the pearly pink chrome. You really get quite a bit of product too. Three grams in a tub. Now, this is going to last you a really long time. So now I've taken them out of the packets and this is the blue and as you can see this pot is full and then this is the pink. I do think the blue looks a little bit on the weird colour side though but as you can see you can see the blue and the pink really coming through the pots. With the blue I'm going to be put, putting it over a black and a bright blue and the pink I'm going to be doing again over black but also a neon pink base and I'll be using the applicators in the packs and using my brush just to dust away any of the excess and my top coat is my Born Pretty No Wipe Top Coat these pop sticks have already had a layer cured so it's two coats of the colour and then a layer of the No Wipe Top Coat so these are now ready to go I'm going to start with the blue chrome first and I'm just going to take a small amount you really don't need a lot of this pigment and I'm just going to rub it into the top coat. These chromes are just so pretty. I just love it over black. These are really going to be some show-stopping names. I also wanted to see what it was like over a similar colour, so blue for blue. It sort of lightens the base colour, but it turns it chrome. So we have a light blue chrome, almost mermaidy, I think. But I love both the effects, they are absolutely stunning and I will be top coating at the end. On 
onto the pink and I'm just going to be doing the same again and as you can see I'm really not using a lot on each nail these are in my eyes really good value for money and when the effect is like these it's definitely a winner for me after I finish doing the main rub I turn my applicator over and I rub again to get rid of any of the excess. If you don't, I find that if you don't remove all the excess, when you come to top coat, you get like sparkly bits in there. And for me, that's not really the look we're going for. But this pink is just stunning. I love it. I, I love these pigments, they're, they're just great. So Nail Art UK have five different colors of these chrome pigments they have the blue bullet obviously the chrome the copper goddess gold bullion green menace pearly pink and silver star and they have just been put on the website the magical fairy dust which is like the holographic one but they all look stunning Nail Art UK have got quite a large supply of different items from Mitty. So now I'm going to add my top coat and this Born Pretty with No Wipe top coat is I think really quite glossy. So even though these chromes look stunning, with this top coat I think they look even more wow than they already are. And then I'll just be curing these in my lamp for 60 seconds. And how pretty do they look when they're finished? I think the pink chrome is my favorite out of the two, but I only think that's because over black it turns purple. I think that's the only reason why. So I hope you've enjoyed my swatch and review video on these gorgeous items I purchased from Nail Art UK. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and I would love it if you could subscribe to my channel as well. And don't forget to come over and follow me on Instagram at Glittershine Nails. So until next time, happy stamping and bye.